Roll sound. Rolling. Camera rolling. Sound rolling, camera rolling. EJ the Journey. Episode 1 in 5. Take in 3, 2, and action. Kenny got bald. Kenny got bald. Seven people can tell the story. Only one is memorable. Seven persons can tell the same story seven ways. Only one will be memorable. Only one will create an impact. Only one will motivate. Only one will inspire. Only one will drive the problem. And that's what we're trying to do. People have heard the Biafra story a lot of times. People have heard misconceptions. People don't even know what happened. People don't know what led to the world that we discussed yesterday. But this journey makes it clearer. This is what happened. This is where we were. This is where we are. This is where we're going to be. It's like telling the story of the Igbos post-war and pre-war. Pre-war and post-war. Okay. Um, during this interview here, I saw that there were some high emotional moments. What can you say about that? Well, I I was overwhelmed. You know, it was it was devastating to see how they live. It was only how they live. It was like this was their life. It's like you're never going to grow from here. They are here every day. Waiting for waiting for days to pass so they could just die like the rest. It's like they're not moving. It's like the world is passing by. They're just beating time. And that wasn't the striking chord. It was that little girl. I mean, she she just she met a life she did not create. And there's really little or nothing she can do to fix it. She cannot go to school. She cannot live a normal life because she has to babysit her father. It was it was breaking. It was breaking. And watching life pass her it was breaking. So is is this a way to also solicit aid for these veterans? Because the war is over. Like they have they have victims of war and everything. And even with the rehabilitation, reconciliation, and um, whatever I go on called it, these people are supposed to have been rehabilitated. The Nigerian government owes it to them. You know Victor no Vanquish, right? Yes. Nigerian government owes it to them. When you fight with your enemy and when you reconcile, you shake hands. You've, you've had to shake that hand. So what's next for their This is just this is just a this is a satirical representation of what the Igbos have become. They're just people that the government have abandoned who are struggling to survive. And I feel like the government should do more. When this gets out, I would want the government to do it. And even if the government doesn't do it, let individuals do it. And you asked previously, what do I want to achieve with this? There are a lot of misconceptions about the world. Recently on Twitter, you see people saying Igbos have victim mentality. You can't go through this and not call yourself a victim. You are a victim. You are a victim. You've had to go through a lot. So we're victims. Don't call it victim mentality. We have gone from there, yes, but does not does not diminish the fact that there's still victims of war. And we have to tell the story to correct impressions. Okay. So thank you for your wonderful time, Mrs. Nenna Joseph. 
aka the EJ woman. <laughs>